So you wanted to create a new Shopify theme, but as soon as you run the command Shopify theme in it, the CLI produces an error saying that your Ruby version, the environment, is outside of the supported version of Shopify CLI. It should be between 2.7.5 and 3.2.0 or something along those numbers. So how can we fix that? How can we get rid of that warning? Now, before we continue, I just want to say that this video is for Shopify developers who uses Mac OS, or if you're using Windows, you can fix that as well by following this video. Maybe it will work. I haven't tried it myself yet, but I'm making this video for Mac OS users, okay? But if you have time, feel free to try it on your Windows um, computer. So with that said, in this lesson, we're going to learn how to get rid of that warning. So without further ado, let's go back to our computer and start working. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, let me show you. So right here, my desktop, I'm going to run um, terminal, terminal. So I'm going to run Ruby hyphen V. And as you can see, the version is 2.6.8. So now if I run the command Shopify theme in it, it's saying that the version of my Ruby is 2.6.8 and it's outside of the range supported by the CLI, which is supposed to be between 2.7.5 and 3.2.0 and it can cause issues. So how can we update our Shopify, no, not Shopify CLI, our Ruby, okay? So that's the purpose of this video. I'm going to show you how to update your Ruby. So to update your Ruby, you can use Homebrew or RBNV or Ruby environment or Ruby version manager. So let me just use Homebrew first. If you don't have Homebrew, go to your browser and visit brew-sh and then you can use the following command and then put it inside of your terminal, press enter and that should start installing Homebrew. I'm not going to explain that. It's very easy, it's very straightforward. You can do it yourself. But I already have Homebrew installed. I'm just going to stop this command. I don't need that. So clear that up. I have brew um, help. I think that should also work. So I have him. I have here the um, homebrew installed. Let's try to install RBENV. But just a side note, I already have um, Ruby version in uh, Ruby version manager installed. So as soon as I run the following command, it should say that I have the latest version. I can just reinstall it. So if I run that, as you can see, it's saying the following warning. Uh, it's already installed and up to date. You can just reinstall it by running the following command brew reinstall rbnv But if you don't have Ruby version manager, it's going to install it. Okay, but since I already have it I'll just have to reinstall it, but I'm not going to do that. It's already updated So the next thing are you going to install is Ruby so you can use the brew install Ruby once again and That should either update your Ruby or that should produce the following warning saying that your Ruby is already installed and up to date. However, even if it's saying that your Ruby is installed or updated, saying that it's 3.1.2 something, if you try to run Ruby hyphen V, it's still 2.6.8. So how can you make it 3.1.2 or how can you make it up to date. So that's the time you would have to use the RBENV or Ruby version manager. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to do is to initiate or initialize the Ruby environment uh, version manager so by typing the command RBENV space init. Okay. Once again, RBENV space init. And that should give you the following. You have to put the following command, this command right over here this, you would have to put this inside of the file called zshrc, okay? So highlight the following command, copy that. You would have to copy that by pressing the um, command C, obviously. So the next thing we're going to do is to put this command in the following file, in the zshrc. We can do that by typing the command touch. Now, before we continue, make sure that you are in the root um, directory of your uh, Mac, um, MacBook computer, obviously. So type touch and then 
tilde or this squiggly thing and then forward slash point or dot symbol and then ZSHRC. Okay, once again, touch squiggly line or tilde and then forward slash dot ZSHRC. Okay, press enter. And the next thing we're going to do is to use the command nano to custom or to edit the following file. So nano tilde or squiggly line forward slash and then point ZS. R -C, oh, hold on, Z S H R C, and then press enter, and that should open that file. And as you can see, I already have it here. But let's assume, let's pretend that I don't have it here. So I'm going to get rid of this, like so, and then I'll just paste it, okay, by pressing Command V. Once again, before I copied it, now I'm going to paste it. So eval space. Um, double quote or opening double quote and then dollar symbol open parentheses and then R B E N V space in it space hyphen space Z S H closing parentheses and then closing double quotes and then save it as you can see here it's saying that it's modified so we have to save it we can save this file by pressing Control X as you can see right over here it's saying that the exit the shortcut the shortcut for exit is control x so press control x and then you will have to select yes to save it okay so press y and then now press enter okay so file name to write and this file so just press enter don't press anything just press enter okay press enter and that should be saved so the next thing that we're going to do is to use the RBENV. So we can just check if we already have installed um, Ruby versions using the RBENV. So type RBENV space and then versions. So as you can see, I have two versions, the system, and this is the 2.6 point something, okay, or 2.6.8. And then the next version is 2.7.5. If you don't have this version, 2.7.5, you can use the command RBENV space install and then space and then the version that you want to install. Say, for example, I want to install the version 3.1.2. Okay? Press enter and that should start installing the version 3.1.2. Two. Now, while we're waiting on this, I just want to mention that if you are using a Windows computer, I don't think you can use Homebrew. So you will have to install RBENV or the Ruby Environment Version Manager using something else. I'm not sure how to do it on a Windows computer, but um, I think I can just put a resource in the comments below. You can check out the re um, the comments below if you if you are using a Windows computer and it should be there okay just follow the instructions there because I cannot uh, put a separate um, video or just combine this video um, I think I'll just put it in the comments below okay so just check it out do whatever you want And it looks like it's done, so we can just check it by typing the command RBENV space versions. It should be plural, okay? Versions. Now press enter. And as you can see, now I have three versions. The 2.6.8, and then the 2.7.5, and then the 3.1.2. Now we can use this version by typing the command RBENV space global space and then the version so as you can see we have 3.1.2 so we can use that type 3.1.2 okay if you have a different version that's the version that you're going to use okay so if that's uh, 3.2 point something that's the one you're going to use but since i have here 3.1.2 that's what i'm going to use so rbenv global 3.1.2 press enter and now we can check by typing the command ruby space hyphen v. And there you go. As you can see now it's 3.1.2. Now we can try the Shopify space theme init 
or before we continue, let me just clear this up. And then Shopify theme init. And there you go. As you can see the error or the warning is no longer being displayed. 